Have you ever looked at a map of congressional districts and wondered why it looks like somebody spilled colored ink all over the United States? Turns out there's actually a pretty good reason for all those bizarrely shaped districts, except for it has nothing to do with the voters' best interests. Every 10 years, the Census Bureau counts every single person in America, and the results are used to divvy up the 435 seats in the House of Representatives to ensure equal representation across the country. And in most cases, that's where the common sense ends and politics takes over. You see, in the vast majority of states, it's up to the lawmakers themselves to draw congressional and state legislative boundaries. The new maps are passed just like any other old piece of state law. And since the politicians themselves are wielding the pen, the party in power in each state capital draws up a new map that either protects incumbents or makes a blatant power play to push the other guys out. The lines usually have nothing to do with voters' best interests. And while courts have set out rules to combat gerrymandering or the blatant manipulation of district lines to benefit one party, the political pros can still come up with some pretty crafty ways to skirt around the rules and help their side. The two most basic ways to game the system are called packing and cracking. Packing refers to shoving as many people from one voting group into the same district in order to reduce their political voting power. Cracking refers to dividing minority groups into several districts so they have a tiny chance of influencing the election. Sounds pretty darn undemocratic, right? So what's the solution? Well, a handful of states employ independent commissions to make their maps. These folks cannot take things like party affiliation or lawmakers' homes into account. Others leave politicians in the mix, but try to limit their wheeling and dealing by creating an evenly balanced bipartisan commission. What do you think? Is this the best way to draw our congressional districts? Or is it time we reform the system? Let us know. Log on to takepart.com slash Tuesday. Subscribe to our videos on YouTube. Comment right here on this video right now. And also send us a tweet.